And Dick, one of the things that makes you successful in your counseling and mentoring of clients is that I know you use a collaborative approach. What is the setting up there in Brainerd? We cooperate a lot with uh, Central Lakes College. We office with Small Business Development Center. We have a tremendous amount of talent up there. And we find that it works better when we bring two or three people together, or a team together to work with the client. You get so involved with your clients. Uh, I sense that there are times you really get mentally and emotionally involved with your client. Is that not true? I think I get emotionally involved with all of them because first, they're interesting people. It's amazing how much fun they are and they all bring something to a different, to a different meeting. And it's fun to watch with them and it's fun to listen to them, how they started and what they're doing and where they want to go. And then to figure out, okay, how can I and the team work with them to help them reach their goal? And Dick, um, I know that some of those businesses have invited you to be on kind of on their advisory board. Yes. How does that happen? Well, we work with them for a while, and then when they're starting down their path, we suggest that they do form an advisory council or a board. There's no legal requirements, so they don't have to buy insurance and such. But we're there and we're on tap if they want to meet periodically to go over their plan and how's it going forward what adjustments need to be done, any suggestions, who else should we bring in, any number of things, but it works. Well, Dick Jordan, you were honored this year for being a mentor of the year, chosen mm -hmm. by your chapter, yeah. identifying you as, here's a mentor that represents what good mentors do for clients. So congratulations. Thank you for being a wonderful mentor for SCORE. Well, thank you, and it's been a pleasure being with SCORE. I love it.